Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Transnet showcased their diesel-powered Trans-Africa locomotive, as well as a range of other products and initiatives, at an investors event held in June at the production facility in Pretoria. Simone Lietka tells us more. Transnet, a company which has been in the making for more than 100 years, has implemented various initiatives over this period in order to streamline efficiencies and improve operations. Transnet Advanced Manufacturing Chief Officer tells us a little bit more. The story around Transnet Engineering, it's been a long in the making. It's a company that almost has 100 years of experience. Over the years, we started uh, uh, by uh, maintaining and refurbishing steam and uh, steam engines for the old, old locomotives that came many, many years ago. Over the years, we've developed our own IP and refined our operations to be able to make all the various products that you see uh, uh, behind me. Currently, however, Transnet is identifying and evaluating smarter solutions to achieve operation and business objectives. It's impossible to be an original equipment manufacturer if you don't own IP. What we have done over the years is to put together our own research and, de and development facility uh, in order to be able to make our own products and invest in our own IP. And it's as a result of those uh, uh, engineering efforts between our product development and R&D teams that we are we're able to start manufacturing freight wagons, uh, passenger coaches, and now to finish it off as a complete OEM for rolling stock, we've been able to produce our own locomotive. He further enthuses that Transnet's products are African, from cradle to grave, and that Transnet is able to support clients as well as reduce the total cost of ownership. These are African products from uh, uh, cradle to grave. We are able to support them and reduce the total cost of ownership throughout maintenance and operations in various railways. So those of uh, uh, railways that have, uh, have procured some of our rolling stock, they know that uh, it's a uh, much more innovative solutions and uh, they last longer and uh, they make it cheap to move cargo. Transnet, however, consists of five divisions for operating and manufacturing, all of which implemented the Market Demand Strategy, or MDS, which will significantly boost infrastructure development, job creation and investment in South Africa and expose the country to a host of international trading possibilities. The Market Demand Strategy is just as we're saying, it's, a, it's a putting infrastructure ahead of demand. Uh, for all, as you may be aware, we've got five divisions in Transnet, four operating and one manufacturing. The four operating divisions, uh, uh, they, they continue to make sure that we do a lot to invest in our infrastructure to make sure that we are ready for our customers. For us in Trans Transnet Engineering, it's a different story in that our market demand strategy meant that we go and into innovate solutions which will put us at the forefront of the, of the demand that our customers are looking for. And that's why to, we, we recently launched our own Trans-Africa locomotive, which is the first of its kind in the continent. And as we say, in trans engineering, through this locomotive, we've been able to put the man, the African, in the moon. Other news making headlines Mobile Solution launched to great effect. Specialist Business and Project Management Consultancy, SSG Consulting, has introduced its newly developed mobile application for its Key360 management software. Key360 is a cloud based um, uh, web enabled platform which we've developed uh, around the project management space. Uh, but it applies to several different business um, uh, verticals which include um, project management and ERP type stuff and HR and risk management and procurement and various others all integrated into a single solution. Um, and we roll this out to, to, to multiple clients working across multiple industries. That's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.